Hello everyone, my name is Max. Um, I'm making this video as a request for a friend uh, of Word Farm. Of course, I'm going to make it in public, so, so anybody else, you know, if you're new to Elden Ring and want to know a place to farm runes, I'm going to guide you into a very good place to farm runes. So uh, bear with me as um, we go over there. Right now we're over here at the gate front. This place uh, usually you start out you start out here in the stranded graveyard you go here here's the golden horse you come to this church usually um, you greet the merchant here and then cross these woods into the kick from ruins here's where you get the horse after you get the horse mount up avoid these people there's a lot of them and we're still at a very low level so I'm just gonna avoid them by going through here after you avoid them, there's another side of grace here. I already grabbed it. But if you haven't, you could grab it. Grab it. It's right over here. But let's keep going straight. We're gonna go. We're gonna go all this way. We're gonna cross this little bridge here. And then go to this um, area around here. Where there's a church called the Third Church of America. And after that, um, I'll keep guiding you. The place we're going is a very high level place. There's an NPC over there, but you know, we can ignore him. <laughs> it's a vi very high level place, so the enemies over there are going to be very dangerous, but they're also going to be very easy to kill. And because they're very easy to kill and very high level, they're going to give you a lot of runes. They give you 1,000 runes each kill. So, it's a very, very good place to farm runes. So, here we are in this part. Just need to avoid this enemy right here. After you get to this part, there's a dirt road here to the left. You're gonna keep following this um, dirt road. This guy doesn't give up. Jesus. You're gonna keep following this dirt road, and then here there's gonna be like a you know a divide. You're gonna take the right. Careful with this other cavalier. Just keep ignoring them. You're gonna keep following this dirt road. Um, uh, you're gonna keep going straight and. If you keep following this dirt road, as I said, you're gonna make it to the church. But of course, we're gonna make a quick stop because there's another side of grace here, which I haven't grabbed. But you know, it's good to grab all these sides of graces because if you get killed by enemies, at least you can spawn right here. You don't have to travel all the way over there again. If you grab the side of grace, get back into the horse, and keep following the dirt road. We're gonna come up to the church eventually. There's another NPC there. We can, of course, uh, you, you guys can, of course, do the those quests later. They are not gonna vanish. So there's the church over there. We're gonna avoid that giant. Of course, these giants are very easy to avoid. And after we get into this this church, this church also has an another side of grace which we're going to grab. There we go. This is the third church of America. There's also some goodies here that you can grab. The Flask of Wondrous Physics is a very useful item and of course a sacred key. But that's not why we're here, okay? <laughs> we're here for uh, the farm, right? So after you get to this church, as you can see here, you cannot see the map. To be to be able to see this map, you have to, you have to go here. I'm guessing you guys are gonna be knowing that already. But around this area, there's a portal, and we're gonna grab that portal. That's gonna di direct us straight to the place we wanna go. So of course, um, you go to the church. You're here. In the, you're in this church. You go through this gap, or you can go just to the main entrance. It doesn't matter. And just go to the back of the church into this little river right here. When you get into this river right here, you're gonna go to the right. Now all those trees are hiding the portal. But you gotta just walk in. Okay, there's an update coming. <laughs> As a uh, very uh, helpful. Thanks for letting me know. Thumbs off. Here's the portal. This is live, people. <laughs> of course, we're gonna grab this portal, and it's gonna take us uh, into the place where we're gonna do the farming. Uh, the place is called the Bestial Sanctum. I believe it's called this on. A uh, very high level and very dangerous place of the map called Kaelid. Uh, Elder Ring 
veteran players players know this place as a very <laughs> stressful place because it's very easily accessible but very high level and if you access access this place as a very low level you're gonna get destroyed but of course so we take this portal here we are gray old dragon barrel of course we cannot see the map but you can open these doors there's a very important NPC here which you can talk to if you want of course we're gonna be skipping that here we are at the Bistron Sanctum but we're opening these doors just to grab this side of grace just in case if we die we'll spawn in here you can talk to that NPC um, but uh, right now we're gonna avoid that also this gargoyle here is not a statue it's a real gargoyle and he can attack you if you attack him so let's ignore him because he actually could one shot me right now if I attack him so this is the area we're gonna be farming uh, these little guys are gonna be the enemies you're gonna be killing they're very easy to kill they have no poise so you can stun lock them until they die you grab this golden seed very important and you're gonna be riding this horse. I'm not killing them yet because I want to grab another side of grace here. Uh, you can see there. You can see it right down there. And now you have two si sides of graces in this area. Ignore that dragon. That dragon is gonna be very difficult to kill at this point in the game. So we grab this uh, another side of grace, and now we have the Forum Great Bridge and the Bistual Sanctum. Bistual Sanctum. And the enemies around here, there's around 20 to 30 enemies. And they give a thousand runes each. I'm gonna give you a demonstration of um, how easy it is to kill them. But if they hit you, of course, <laughs> they can one shot you because we're a low level right now. So at least we can sneak in in order. Uh oh, well, I guess that was bad luck that time. Of course, we can just. You can see, they can get easily. Don't look, let me get back, let me get my stamina back. You can see they have a lot of health, but they can attack me uh, while I'm attacking them because they have no poise. So you just wait, wait for them to attack you. Then on an opening, just attack. You can see 1094 runes and they are all easy to kill that way. Of course this little dagger dagger is from the bandit class. It causes bleed, that's why I uh, sometimes did a lot, of, a lot of damage. But whatever character you have, you can just stun lock them, don't let them attack you. And of course whenever your stamina is getting low, just back up, wait for your stamina to get back, wait for them to attack you and then you attack them. And EC 1000 wounds. And of course, if you die, you have two sides of graces here. So, it's all good. You're just spawning here and grab those wounds back. I well, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And happy hunting, guys. Happy farming.